These are the easiest to install hydraulic brakes on any e-bike or regular bicycle. These hydraulic brakes are mechanically actuated with the hydraulic cylinder confined to just the caliper. That means you can retain the existing brake cable and lever and you just simply replace the caliper at the wheel. It's really easy to install. I'll show you how to do that and get them aligned so that you can get riding quickly. But before we get started, I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. I'm going to perform a brake test with this bike before I install the hydraulic brakes. I'm going to stop up here at the edge of the driveway and see how long the bike stops down to here. And then I'll do the same after I install the hydraulic brakes to see what my improvement is. So let's get after it. Get up to 20 miles an hour. It's pretty consistent just to about this crack in the sidewalk. I'm going to replace the brakes with the hydraulic ones and then I'll see where the bike stops. It should stop in a lot less distance. As you can see, there's two different brackets on these brakes. This is the rear brake. That's the front one. You can see it's very similar to the bracket that's already on this bike. So what I might do is just remove the bracket from this new one and reuse the bracket that's on the bike. Same thing with the front up here. You can see that that's that straight bracket. What you're going to need is you may need these end caps, but if you're careful, you can remove these old end caps by using some pliers and reusing that end cap and then slide the brake cable through and then you'll reinstall the new brakes. I'm going to undo this bolt and these two bolts that hold on the bracket. I'm going to remove the caliper from the bracket and use the original bracket. So let's get started on that. Five millimeter socket. One thing you want to make note of, there's spacers underneath this caliper. So I may need to reuse these spacers to get the spacing right or the offset correct. They were located here between the bracket so that I can install the new one at the proper distance. So you can see here, here's the cable. Now to install the new caliper, I'm going to use the existing mount. I could use the new bracket if I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and use the existing one. And you can see that, um, the rotor hits right on the brake caliper. So I need to reuse those spacers to bring the caliper out. So what I'm going to do is you can see, I'm going to put the spacers on here like this, and then I'm going to have spacers on the bottom here so that that um, has the proper offset. And then this is kind of a trick because you got to get those spacers in there and the bolt on there which sometimes can be a little tricky. I'm just going to put this on finger tight. Now each bike will be a little bit different on the spacing, but you can kind of figure it out with the different variety of spacers and whatnot. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. All right, I got that brake caliper mounted. I did leave it loose because I want to be able to adjust it so that it's not rubbing on one side or the other. What you want to do is check to see if the brake calipers are engaged, which they are. It looks pretty good there. You want to make sure that the rotor is not hitting the caliper, both bottom and top, which the spacing looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and install and feed the cable through this and get that situated. I'm going to Feed the brake line through here. And then I'm going to loosen this bolt here. Feed that under here like this. What's nice is this is a little adjustment. So what I can do is I can adjust this down or up and will provide different tensions if needed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pull this down a little bit. So 
that it's somewhat tight on the rotor and then tighten the cable down like this and before I put anything in the end cap on here I just want to make sure that it's good to get the brake caliper centered so it's not squeaking I'm going to go up and depress the brake lever so that this brake caliper centers on the rotor it's loose on these two mounting points so it will center on the rotor and then i'm going to tighten those bolts down so i have the brake lever squeezed i'm going to go ahead and tighten the bolts down since the brake caliper is aligned on the rotor and i'm going to do the same thing for the front bolt here I got the brake caliper aligned here on the rotor. I'm going to go ahead and do a test. Spinning the rear wheel. It's not rubbing at all. Looks really good. Wow, nice stopping power. May need to adjust this cable a little bit so I get the nice tension up there. To adjust the brake lever's firmness, what I can do is unscrew this a little bit and then spin this nut back and then that gives a nice tension and takes the play out of the lever on the handlebars let's move on to the front brake now on this front brake i'm going to try using the bracket that it came with it has slightly different standoffs for this bike just to give a demonstration so i'm going to remove the whole caliper with the mount and let's get started on that Use the five millimeter to release the cable. Okay, I have the new brake. And pull the clip. Slide this on. I want to make sure that the rotor doesn't grind into here and cause squealing. You want to make sure that this is offset properly, that the rotor doesn't gouge out the caliper so it looks pretty good if there's an issue you might actually have to put a few spacers in to move the caliper back outward but it looks okay i'm going to go ahead and install these bolts finger tight just to see how it looks i'm going to reuse the old bolts because they're the probably better length than the ones that came with it. I'm just going to put this on here like finger tight and check all the gaps to see. It looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down. And then remember, I want to leave these loose so that this brake caliper can move in and out. And then I can adjust it and align the caliper with the rotor once I get the cable attached. So I'm going to run the cable through like this and attach it here. I'm going to tighten that down. And now that's nice and tight. I now reach up and pull the brake lever. And now the caliper is aligned on the rotor. And I'm going ahead and tightening these bolts down so that everything is aligned. Okay. It's pretty nice. If I want to make some adjustments, I can do that by tightening this up here. That takes a little bit more play out of. Oh, yeah, that's nice and tight there. Might adjust it down a little bit. That was a little too tight. But it's nice, and I could reuse this end cap. I'm good to go. Let's go out and do a brake test. Now that we got the hydraulic brakes installed, we're going to go ahead and do a brake test again from 20 miles an hour from the end of the driveway and see how much shorter it stops compared to the mechanical brakes. Getting up to 20 miles an hour, break. All right, so I got to here. Now, before I was stopping all the way up here, that's at least 10 to 12 feet shorter or about three to four meters shorter. I'm pretty happy with those results. 
I hope that you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Thanks for watching.